Do you have purchases that are bought in a different currency? In this video, I want to talk about foreign exchange in zero, specifically purchasing in a foreign currency. Let's head into zero and take a look behind the scenes so that you can see how it actually works. I'm not just talking about an overview, I'm talking about getting behind the numbers so that you can understand what actually takes place. Okay, we're on our dashboard. We're going to go to our file section and we're going to select this purchase invoice and say add it to a new bill. We've got the details on the screen we can refer to, so we input the information. Invoice date is the 1st of November. And we need to select the currency. So the default is going to be GBP. We add a currency. If it wasn't already in our list, we could add it here, but we select USD. So now we're entering values in dollars. So we can see we've got 200 items at $5 each. And here we have a thousand dollar invoice ready to enter. So we double check our information. It's from Dallas Decker. We've got the right date, the due date, the invoice number. We've got the correct currency that we selected. We can see here what the exchange rate is and that's automatic in zero. And then we just approve our transaction. Okay, let's look at what Zero does with that transaction. So first of all, I've gone into a profit and loss account and I've chosen the month of November 2020. So first thing we see is the cost of goods sold and this is our thousand dollar invoice converted at the exchange rate on the date of the invoice which is £773.14. Then the second amount we have is a foreign currency gain and loss. It's under expenses, it's in brackets, so that means that it's a gain. £22.96 of again. So what's happened is Zero has looked at the exchange rate on the 30th of November. It's calculated the exchange rate and it said that that invoice is now a lower value than 773. So we anticipate at this stage, on this date, that your gain will be £22.96. The second place we're going to go is we're going to go to reports and we're going to choose the foreign currency gains and losses. Again, I'm going to select November and update. I would love to say that I like this report, but if we pay enough attention to it, we can make sense of it. So what Zero does, Zero will look at exchange for accounts receivable, so based on any sales invoices you've issued, accounts payable, based on any bills, and also any foreign bank accounts. So what we can do is we can ignore this part. We're not interested in accounts receivable we can ignore bank accounts because we don't have any foreign bank accounts and all that we need to look at is the accounts payable section. And here we have our US dollars. This tells us that the accounts payable balance as at the date of the report, so the 30th of November, is made up of pounds at this value and US dollars a thousand. When they are converted, this is the total amount 210138. And if we go into trial balance at the same date, 30th of November, if we scroll down to our accounts payable, here we can see that figure 210138. So back into the report. So those are the balances. There's nothing realized because there's no money moved. But when we get to the unrealized section, we have an unrealized gain of £22.96. And that is based on the original invoice value, so if we go to the profit and loss account, is 773.14, but we now have converted it to only being 750 pounds 18. So we're expecting, which is why it's unrealized, a gain of 22 pound 96. Now there is something sneaky you can do here. As I've said, I don't really like this report, especially when we're only interested in accounts payable. If we click on this amount, it takes us into a report where it's only showing accounts payable. So it's the same information, but now we only have accounts payable on the screen. So we can concentrate and thankfully there's only one transaction we need to look at. So here's our purchase invoice, the value in dollars, the exchange rate at the date of the invoice, 
the due amount, which is in dollars, the due amount in sterling, and that is based on the original date. And then we come to the revalued amount, and that's where we calculate the unrealized gain. So this is probably the best report to look at. So shall I recap where we found that report? We went to accounting, we went to the reports menu. If it wasn't a favorite, we need to scroll down to the accounting section, choose foreign currency. We were only interested in the month of November. So we select the month of November. We know that it's a messy report. So we go to the line we're interested in. We click on this value. And now we can see for the month of November, only accounts payable. And we can see the one transaction that we're interested in. Okay, so now what happens, we're now about to make the payment. If we go to our bank reconciliation, the day after that, we've actually made the payment. And this is what it cost us. And again, that can be different because the exchange rate can move from the day before. And when you make payment, your bank will determine the exchange rate. So again, it might be slightly different to what Zero has calculated. I've added a note over at the right hand side so we can be clear what's happening. So the invoice was £773.14. The bank charged us, and it was included in that value, sometimes it can be separate, bank charges of £15, and we know that there's an exchange gain of £26.14. So we want to match that transaction. So we go to find a match. It defaults to GB only, so we're going to untick that. And I'm going to use my search box, and if I could spell, I'm going to look for Dallas. I'm going to pick up that transaction, but then I also need to add the fact that there's bank charges. I'm going to go to adjustments and I'm going to say add a bank fee. So I'm going to add a description. I'm going to code it to bank fees and the amount is 15 pounds. And then I can just reconcile that transaction. Now we want to look in zero and see what's happened. So let's go back to our profit and loss account. And this time we're selecting December. And we scroll down to the foreign exchange and we see this figure of £3.18. Let's change it and show two months. So we'll choose from the 1st of November this time. And this time we see a figure that we recognise £26.14. Let's click on that amount and that takes us into the foreign currency report. Now we know we can be sneaky, we're only interested in this one line. There's no balance, so I'm no, there's no point clicking on the balance. But if I click on the realized figure, I can now see that when the payment was made on the 1st of December, there's a realized gain of £26.14. So just to clarify, zero puts that over two months. So it's got the amount guesstimated to the end of November and then the balance on the 1st of December. So if we go to the profit and loss account and we choose December, and then we're going to say compare it with the month before. So now on this screen, we can see November and December. So November has got the cost of goods sold. And then when we go to the foreign exchange, we've got the amount that related to the month of November and then the amount relating to December because the payment was made on the 1st of December. So the other thing we can do, we can pick up the bill and we can see what's happened on it. It's shown on the screen in US dollars. So it tells you here it's in US dollars. There we see a thousand US dollars and the payment is a thousand US dollars. We can see here that there's a realized gain of the £26.14. If we click on the payment, we can also see that the payment amount was 747. If we go to view details, we can see 747 was the payment of the invoice with £15 in bank fees. So hopefully that's helped by going behind the scenes and having a look at the exchange report in Zero, which can be very confusing. But the one thing is you can have peace of mind knowing that Zero is doing all the work for you. If you like the video, please let me know that you liked the video. Why don't you subscribe to the channel and you'll get notified when new videos are uploaded on a regular basis. If you've got any questions, any comments, put them below and I'll do my best to respond. But until next time, happy zeroing.